We'll go back here one. If you know me. And the stack. These are the two most dreaded dailies to do. <laughs> we continue on, but it's fine. We still need more freaking coins anyway. Then we enter Silver League, where stuff gets real. Actually, every match is shaky as well. Let's be real. <laughs> this is a freaking X Men mutant deck. Any match I go up against is a high, is a lost chance. <gasps> high lost, well, maybe moderate lost chance at least. But when we enter gold, it's high without a doubt. A lot of these silver ones are 50 50. Oh no. <laughs> his name. What the heck is his name? Dude, that art though, that Venom art is very cool. Ooh, that's lots of value for Gambit. On time. Put a curve from each player's hand down. I don't want Domino to be played by that, so let's put Domino over there. Carnage? Wait, what in the world? Oh my goodness, what a play. What? That was actually a misplay. I don't know what he thought was going to happen there, but he didn't want Armin Zola. Dude, that's cool though. Armin Zola's rare. I don't like dis discard decks, but I mean, like, I really like Venom and Carnage, so yeah, I can't blame people for using these. I'm, I'm very tempted. Ah. Uh, Corsica House 1 can't be played here. Oh, she can't summon Iceman anyway. He's in my hand. A uh, sure. Sure. I should be challenging the middle one I'm doing. Uh, it just said cards that cost one can't be played here and just brought down Kitty Pride. Wow, it actually happened. She brought down Kitty Pride, the worst possible thing she could do. Although now I have Kitty Pride, so that's cool. But I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure she takes Yeah, the top card of your deck and would draw on her anyway. Oh well, she's getting powered up though. Nothing wrong with that. Oh what oh, I didn't even see what Yandu killed. Actually, Yandu would have killed Kitty Pride. Actually, Jubilee just saved her, so shout out to Jubilee. I don't know if Gambit brings so much value. Let's do this. I don't know if Gambit's gonna bring that much value. Be sure it's Ice Man. Ice Man is also borderline overpowered. You're not shocking that happened. Yeah, he needed to Venom eat this guy. That's who actually eat this guy. But like, he he probably wanted him to eat another Carnage. I don't know. I doubt that went exactly the way he wanted. Do I just take this away? I almost feel like... We take this away, just so Kitty has playability here. Oh, I might regret that with Deadpool just being cast. Well, good thing I did not play Kitty, Kitty that turn, she could have died. Well, I can use that to get the more than 20. Let's just riskily play here. See, I think he already threw that. These decks often do not play the third zone. Oh, I could have done it here alternatively. Oh, well, this is fine, because I have Giganto. Opponent snapped. Really? You think you can beat this total power? Unless he has St. Sheena's deck, I don't think he can. Even then, Pride is... Henry Saint Chi. But he is an R Giganto, probably. He should, because it's clearly an X Gene deck. Is it Saint Chi? Oh, that's a Null! Oh god, I forgot how overpowered Null is. Yeah, I'm never beating that deck. That's fine. Just kill me now. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about Null. He's very rare. He's also a pay to win. I actually have him. That's a very cool one, though. Look at his symbiote power, wow. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. Um... 
combined power of all the cards destroyed this game. Ah! That's how I beat him. I need Emma Frost to steal him. I had to fight fire with fire with that one. Dang. Had we got Emma Frost, we could have maybe won. Yeah, but Jubilee rolled low, though. Right, that's, that's good for my deck. I think they fixed the bug that made me, like, lose more stuff. We'll see if this goes to four, but I don't think it will. I think that was a bug that happened to me. Oh god, that was bad. Oh god. What are the odds? No, I'll reveal first. I can't play Gambit. This is one of the best zones for his deck. Oh, whoops! Oh, no, no, what am I doing? I forgot Kitty Pride doubles, doubles, doubles! Wait, we can actually beat him! Don't, I misplayed though, I, we may not beat him. Oh god, get out of here. But he's definitely one now. So let's edit out one now. Oh, wait, no, I can't lose. No, actually, I can't play game it. I can't lose Bingo. No. Oh good, he didn't kill Kitty. Dude, I think I have to do this actually. Don't kill Giganto. Dude, I don't know if I can win this. I feel like I'll lose if I don't continually power up Kitty, because I could magic this away. But I don't think that actually wins. Oh, he magicked it away. Wow, he has the magic. Well, already at infinity, that's who plays all the time. I'll get him killed her. Dang, that was his best play too. Magic this away now. Dang, he killed White Queen! Now no, I need White Queen to get his null! Well played, I'm done. Yondu just won in the game. Great use like Yondu. Yondu's also very overpowered. I have to take this risk. Nola is just gonna completely only own me, but still. He's, he may just win the zone. Yeah, he did his cast there. Oh, wait, that's not enough, though. I think his Null is gonna probably beat me, though. Wait. Oh wait, we don't have enough. Oh no, she's got the strength of Giganto. There's no reason. That should just be worse if it. Oh no, she's gonna die anyway. But yeah, this is a guaranteed summon of Giganto, actually. But yeah, I need a battle Null. Dang, I don't think I beat Null. Oh yeah, he just put death down too. Yeah, there's no way for me to beat this deck. It's so insanely broken. That's still one of the most broken decks, like, legit legitimate. There's no way I'll beat it. I need, like, super lucky crud. Like, it's such an overpowered deck. Okay, he gets full- look at- this is his final turn. His final turn... ...is freaking, um... Also, like, he's got Venom, too. It just counters Magneto. It's just a counter deck, through and through. Um, look at Null. He gets 30 power for 6. Chican Chicanto is 20 power. This is so unfair. I mean, Infinite is 20 power. 
Giganto is, is 14, which is the highest. Although, Destroyer may have more now at 15. Destroyer may have gone back to being the highest power, besides Infinite. Death is free. Death is free? Freaking no. It's essentially double the power he should be for his cost. So he just got near triple the power he should have. He, no, he, yeah, he essentially gets triple the power he should have for the cost of that turn. It's completely unbeatable. Not to mention the fact that Venom is just the straight-up counter to Magneto. Which, I mean, that just is what it is. It's bizarre. Magneto should not be able to pull him over there. Um, but he does. Magneto has Polaris' power for some reason in this game. I don't know why. Actually, no, that's Quake's power, I think, technically. She just doesn't know how to use it like that. Um. Actually, no, that, that, I think that's Polaris' power as well. She just generally can't move regular objects. Yeah, because she didn't know what it is. Although, I don't, don't know if that's all lore, but yeah. That's insane, the strong deck. Hold on, Jubilee. In oh, we get another split. Infinity! Oh, come on! Come on, please, my first yellow or my first ink art, please. Yay, X Gene. Sure, that's freaking awesome, too. Come on, Emma Frost Avatar or something, X Gene. Discredits, oh boy. Discredits. Yeah, we got we got crushed. That was in freaking infinity grade deck. Oh my goodness, we lost in the best way possible though. Shout out to him. We lost in the best way possible. We got the dailies done. Ooh, I thought that was gonna be a while. Shout out to that guy. Thank you, sir. You beat us in the coolest way you could. <laughs> or or ma'am, I don't know. Yeah, I I still yeah, although most of the time it will say whatever that I identify as, but yeah, whoops. I should, I should say that, too. I do apologize if they do not identify as either. That's <laughs> just what you gotta say, I'm on YouTube. That's what you gotta say. I respect it all. And also, that's like, also like, because I do know I have some Christian viewers, too, because I'm Christian. But yeah, that's also like, it, the Bible mentions I'm altering your speech to who you're talking to, so yeah. You can't absolutely say that, too. Oh, Captain Marvel! Oh, we just saw her in the other match! I probably should have shot an X-Gene, but that's the next... Kind of the next closest thing. It's rogue, rogue related. Can she power up? We're powering her up if she can power up. Captain Marvel is an incredibly cool character. Um, I, I know more as Miss Marvel. Dude, should we power up? And, dude, we got some extra. Do, do, do we do that Digi Rhino? One of my favorite art in the game. <laughs> so reminds me of like an OG Spider Man. Dude, 90s Rhino is just so great as a character. I always really liked him. You know what? For Rhino, yeah. For Rhino, yeah. He's a great card. I just like that even more. But he's, he's actually going to get the honor. He's going to get the honor of that power up. I probably shouldn't do that type of thing, but I do. Because, yeah, I should only do X Gene, so they have the highest chance of the special link card, whatever thing. But anyway, let's see the separation. Let's send it off. I'm not even sure who helped the most. I don't even know. His deck is so strong. I mean, the MVP was White Queen. I just... Well, the, the win condition is White Queen. I just didn't get his Null to beat Null with Null. That was just how that went down. That's how you beat that deck. I do have a win condition for it. It just didn't play out because Yondu was killing her. <laughs> I mean, that's just... That's just it going his way, man. It's just It just went his way. And more power to him. Oh, uh, we need to go upgradable. Oh, oh no, she is. She's upgradable. Okay, yeah. I'm doing it. There she is. Oh! That's some of my favorite art of the game. So good. Although I'm not the hugest fan of Reed Larson, but as, as, that as a character is awesome. Oh, come on, X-Gene. Deathlock. That's who just crushed us with Deathlock, though. Actually, shout out to Deathlock. Where is he? Oh, he can't. Can he not upgrade? Wait, now it says I have two. Oh, Shuri. Oh. Wait, actually, we finally got Shuri shards. Yes, for God. I hate having great cards. What is that? 
Oh, she's looking at, um... This does almost get us a reward. I mean, Stethla can upgrade. I mean, that's the point. Stethla <laughs> upgrade. That actually gets me something potentially that could help. Come on! Oh, here's the spotlight catch. I'm probably gonna leave that unopened until um, August 1st. Um, cause yeah, I don't. I mean, this card is. These cards are insanely great. They're infinity tier, but I don't need them. But yeah, Iron Lad also thrashed the crap out of us that uh, a, few, a few matches ago. Um, that was cool though. I hadn't actually fought the Iron Lad deck. Yeah, they're they're insane. The power creep is real in this game. Um, but yeah, they can fight the power creep by having everyone go down to th series three. Why are they not doing that? Because after the season, if like if they don't actually make that correction. Because it's absurd that Null, I believe, is still a Series 5. Isn't he one of the oldest 6 cost cards? Why has he not returned down to Series 3? Like, that is absurd. That is literally creating a wall intentionally to frick over the free-to-play people. And just the game itself. Because sure, pay money to have, a, to have a momentary few months of advantage, sure. But in the end, then they should equalize. And really, any tournament, you should just give everyone the same cards and let them battle. Let the minds compete. Let the randomness of the game and the day compete. Like, this game, this game is so random as is. Way more random than most card games, that that shouldn't be that an issue. But anyway, come on, next gene. New avatar! Oh, Koi! New avatar! Oh my goodness, yes! That is so cool! Not what I wanted, though! <laughs> so also, we got that avatar because it actually pulled a three or four series that I already had. I believe that is how it works. Um... Dang, if only she was a mute and I want to use her. I don't think I have Okoye in any deck, which is to my own disadvantage. She's an incredibly great card. Although, she seems to be played almost not at all. Now, she was played a ton when the game first came out. Because I believe she buffs the two cards that left or something? She'd probably help more than Domino. <laughs> it will certainly help more than Domino. Yeah, here she is. Give every- oh, it's even better. Give every card in your deck plus one power. Oh my goodness, yes. Using using this with Professor X would be so freaking good. Holy crud. Using this with K Kitty Pride would be so freaking good. She's a phenomenal card. Holy crap. I mean, with Iron Lad might not actually be the worst either. She's an incredibly great card. Oh, Mysterio's in this deck. Dang. Mysterio's in this deck. Wait, we have one of them that says Rando Squirrel Girl. Oh, because this says Mutants. Oh, it's a Mutant deck. That's why I did that. We have a Mutant that actually is one of these guys? No, because I'd be using it if we did. Ugh. Ugh. That, that's also where my Sunspot is. He's, a, he's an incredibly great card. Um, also, so I should be using Sunspot as well. He's just not one of my favorite X-Men. Sunspot with Professor X is insanely great if they're in the same zone. Insanely great. And he has a counter to him as well, if your enemy has him. Koi wouldn't necessarily be bad in here either, although Shocker can actually be buffed up. And Shocker is a very cool card. Ding, dude. I'm tempted to just make a new deck, just, just so I can show her off. I could have Squirrel Girl in this, but I'm shutting out Cyclops. Cyclops has no love. Oh, that's why I have them. It's thematic. I could really put her in here, though. Like, almost no one uses Haka anymore.
It's just a random deck. It's just the deck they forced me to make. Yeah, let's switch out rescue. I just, I just had to have a boy on something that's too cool. Um, why is it letting me click the avatar picture? There we go. I was missing somehow. Let's just put Okai Okoye here. She's crazy cool. Oh, that's right there. Actually, it's a missing that avatar picture. Oh, we'll, we'll rock Cyclops. There we go. Just to represent. That, that might be the deck that I just switched out with the latest ones if I like it more than the others. Shout out to Okoye. She freaking rocks. Hopefully I'm saying that name right. Oh, wait. We still have one final thing to do. The split. The overhyped split that I've done. Hopefully it won't be overhyped. Uh, upgradable. Debris? I don't think debris gets me anything. No. Not doing debris. Come on. Come on, okay. Nope. It didn't do it. It didn't do it. But she don't even have to upgrade it. She's going in there though. I always put the latest one in. What did it even roll? I, we don't know. It has to upgrade to now. Oh, we got Rainbow! Oh, we got Rainbow! Oh, that's cool! Oh, Rainbow for Jubilee! Now, I wish it added a swirl or something every time you upgraded it. They need to show that I've upgraded these cards 80 billion times. It should have a display. Besides just this going from digital regular to digital, the background here. Like, I'm hoping that the background art is subtly changing each time, but I don't think it is. Does, but maybe it does. Although having all of them be the black would be pretty cool, actually. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you like what you saw. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, I guess Kitty Pride. Kitty Pride actually spooked him into destroying that zone, which I never thought he would do. So we'll give Kitty Pride the shout out. She gave us a chance. Unfortunately, Emma Frost could not pull it off. Like button, subscribe to that notification bell if you'd like to see, like to see more content like this. And as always, may your tale eternally be retold. Catch you next time.